Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin in Tucson, Arizona, where we have a brick and mortar store. We also have a uh, eBay store. You can go to oldpueblocoin.com, find us on eBay. All the information is in the show notes. Uh, in the meantime, we're here to have some fun today with coins, and we're going to talk about California fractional gold pieces. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can look some of these bad boys up right here almost live on the air and so I happen to get in some kind of cool little old holders that someone has dutifully put small gold coins in of course these actually need a little bit of some uh, well removal from these holders this one dollar gold piece I actually think I have a customer for because he collects anything dated Civil War era especially gold so this in 1861 but what we're here today to look at is the California fractional gold pieces and see if we can identify some of the types and varieties that they be, that they are, that they is. And take a look, here's another little set, a couple more $1 gold pieces. And then at the end here, there's a $1 California fractional. Hard to see through these holders. Very hard to see through these holders. So we'll be removing those, but also we shall take a look at a couple of other fun ones here. This just says round unk, and this one says Lee 3A. So this one here, we'll take a look at the primary, the primary uh, coins that you have on the California fractional gold pieces are gonna be a uh, round or octagonal shaped and they will be denominated either in half dollar, dollar, or quarter of a dollar. And they will have either a Liberty Head design or, a, or an Indian design, Native American design on them. And so we will take a look here and see if we can identify these guys here. Small, small pieces. Sometimes big, big prices, not always, depends. Of course, I got a couple holy ones there. And so these guys are way tiny. So let's start here with, this is a quarter dollar round and Liberty Head. So those are the different things that you start with when you're looking up the coins in a, this is the, uh, the D Dowering book, sorry. Didn't mean to be so dowering. Here we go. So the book goes through, it has a lot of information at the front end, but basically what you're going to be looking at sectionally is going to be the denomination and then the shape. And then after that, either, either the Liberty or the uh, Native American Indian here. So quarter dollar round, that's what we're looking at with this guy here. Quarter dollar rounds, lots of different types. By the way, they've got a couple really, really cool types here with the uh, Defiant Eagle standing, and they actually have a Washington head variety. And after that, we've got our Indian styles, so then we will flip by those until we get to the quarter rounds. And they have a basic list of the, the different types there. All the way down. And so it's kind of fun that I just look and identify all the different types and you'll see as you go through here, they'll all look a little bit similar to one another. But then they have descriptions about uh, everything to describe just how different each die state is. And you'll notice the descriptors are there that are pretty good all the way throughout. And so we're going to go ahead and take a close up look at this guy here. Don't think we're going to take the time to identify all of them. We're just walking through this process to see what we can see when it comes to the liberty that we're looking at. So some of the basics, of course, is counting stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. Okay, so we got 
11 of the stars and we have a quarter dollar and we have a star below the word dollar that's going to help us out a little bit because as we're going through here you know not all of them have the star below not all of them have the 11 stars and we have a couple different types of fractions also we might have an angled fraction on this piece here and that also has the word doll sped instead of dollar. So we have listings with sub varieties. No date, Liberty Heads, 12 stars, 12 stars, 12 stars, 12 stars. I gotta go backwards here. 10 stars, 11 stars. Well, this might be a little bit easier than I thought because here we go, no date, 11 stars. They have this as their type eight. Wow, there's only one version with 11 stars. That's fascinating. You know, and it's it's listed as one of the more common types based on price points. You see, the price points in this book are old, but also, you know, you kind of get the feel when all of a sudden your coin has a lot less of a price point than the other coins. Then that's kind of a thing. Kind of a thing. Okay. So, did we have no date on that? Are we all are we all good with this one here? Which one did I pick up here? I'm throwing stuff around. Don't mind me. One quarter dollar. Yeah, there you go. No date. I think we've got uh, one fifteen in the Dowring book here. Let's go ahead and glance real quick and see about this eighteen fifty three half dollar one and see if this is an easy find also or if it's going to take hours here we go let's go half dollar octagonal indians half dollar octagonal liberties half dollar here we go half dollar rounds okay so it looks like there's quite a few some funky ones here so these are dated there's one dated 51 this guy here is dated 53 in the middle. Let's take a look and see. At our 53s, looks like there's several pages of 53s here. So we've got 11 stars, 12 stars. So that's a first starting point on these, finding the stars on there. Apparently the hardest part of my job is counting stars because look at them all. They get confusing. What if the coin rotates? Then I really get confused. So we got 13 stars on that guy. That starts bringing us back down. 1853 with 13 stars. And that starts to eliminate quite a few here. It's 12 stars, 12 stars, 13 stars, 13 stars, 13 stars. So all of a sudden then we have this eagle reverse. So there's actually only three different 13 starred versions of this coin and you start to look at uh, to see it starts to describe things like the location of you know the star where it's pointing relative to the neck so my my fastest tip almost always is to like look at the price points to see 500 in xf 350 in xf 250 in xf that's the one i have that's that that's the tip Tip of the neck points to the lower part of the first star. Point of diadem points between the fifth and sixth stars. Hello. How complicated does that sound? Well, it sounds pretty complicated. But that's the type of stuff that you look up in this type of a book. So the uh, first tip of the neck points to the lower part of the first star. Okay, well, if this first star is the one that's at uh, like 7 o'clock, then yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the diadems between 5 and 6. So that sounds like a match. And let's go ahead and take a look and see if anything is different on this or the second one. So actually, if we look at this again, the obverse type of the 326 and the 326A are identical, which makes sense since it's 26 and 26A. And then you'll see where that 
how the point of liberty on the only other option there points uh, to no man's land. So that's a little bit different. So then we got to figure out what the difference is between these two. Uh, 1853 Nareth, half dollar California gold around the outside of the wreath, 17 berries on the wreath, nine on the left, eight on the right, a berry at the top of the three, a leaf just below, a berry opposite. Look at that, look at that. That's so complicated, right? And, all right, 20 berries on the wreath, 10 on each side. So we're counting berries, hopefully we can see them. So either we have nine and eight or 10 and 10. Okay, well that, more counting. Good grief, it's like the count. Uh, uh, uh. I might need my 20 power loop here. Actually, <laughs> actually, I might need my 20 power loop indeed. So the berries are very small on here. One, two, three, four, five. I might have to do this off camera. It's so hard for me to do right here. Well, I think this is the uh, the nine and eight. So that would be the 326, which is the one I was talking about previously. Yeah, um, that's that's got nine on one side and eight on the other. So that's 326. Somewhere somebody should write those numbers down for me. Or I guess I could do it for myself. All right, we got some holy ones. We got uh, a couple holy ones here that uh, I don't know if we're going to get to. Let me see if I can pop this open or not real easy. On the guy. Well, the holder is giving me fits. So we're not going to worry about that so much, and it's kind of hard to see through those. Uh, but I did want to give you a lay of the land of just what it looks like for people who collect these guys by type, just exactly how you kind of look at them and identify them. Now, fortunately, if you want to collect California fractional gold, you don't need to go through this process. You can, you know, simply go ahead and purchase uh, coins that are already certified. But also, if you don't, I mean, this is a really great book uh, to have, and it's actually, a, you know, it's a pretty, it's a fun, almost novel area to collect. But also, they can be pretty expensive. But if you want to, you can always go ahead and just try to find coins on on uh, eBay that are holy, hold coins, and just try to get different varieties. So. All right, guys, let me know if you collect these bad boys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button down below and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.